Hello, my name is Nima malik Manish. I am the Product Marketing Manager and Senior Engineer for Dreamcatcher Bravo. And what I'm here to talk about today is our Bravo Live Studio. As many of you know, our Bravo Live Studio is a very dynamic platform that can do a lot. It can satisfy large shows of five or six operators, multiple inputs, operators doing replay, different operators doing live switching, graphics, and it can also be tailored down to do something small. Part of the problem with something that can do so much is our customers may not understand how it can be stripped down or tailored down to do something very specific. So in this video here, Sean O'Sullivan, who's one of our product specialists on Dreamcatcher, will actually show you how Bravo Studio can be fitted down with a blueprint or show recipe to do a small show, a small soccer show in this case, with less people. A single operator doing your replay, live switching, graphics, audio mixing, and an editor on the back end collaborating, getting that content, creating highlights. So the purpose of this video is to show you how you can do a very small dynamic show and how you can leverage a single operator to do this. Hello, I'm Sean O'Sullivan. Today we're going to be producing a live soccer match using the Bravo Studio platform. The benefit about using Bravo for live production is the ability to have a single opera performing multiple production roles. These roles include director and switcher, audio operator, replay, live graphics. The whole time the production is being recorded and if needed the producer can use DC Live Edit to fix any mistakes that occurred during the event. The first step in pre-production process is to create or start a new session on Bravo. This is where specific production needs can be created for your live production. These customizable features can be sport or event specific and can be saved for usage at a later time. For today's live soccer event, I'm going to create a new session. Once we've started the new session, we're going to want to name it. Once we've given it a name, we want to also select our cameras from the pool of inputs that are available within the cluster. This allows us to see what cameras we actually need for our live production. Once we've filled out the parameters of the session, we are now ready to join the session. Once we've activated our session, we now have a list of tabs that are available to us. This includes our live settings tab, our replay tab, and this allows us to add in our replay transitions that will take us in and out of replay. Also gives us three predetermined replay playback speeds. In the events tab, this is where we create our storylines. So if we were looking at any big players in the game or any big highlights associated with specific tags, we can mark them and add them to our storylines easily. During the pre-production process, I can load all my content into the Bravo machine that includes our pre-shot scenics, pre-built animations and keyable graphics. This content gets imported into the active session and is easy available and I can also get my audio mixer ready for live air. This is done by putting our announcers, for example, here on channel one and channel two, and our NAT sounds on channel three and channel four. By linking the channels together, this allows you to operate one fader and the ability to control both channels. Again, the Bravo can be set up with a single operation in mind. I can set up my opening segment by using my rundown, which is my tease, followed by the animation to a pre-shot scenic. Now we're gonna to cut to the Talon camera, followed by highlights from last game, to the national anthem, then to another scenic, and then into the game. Now we're good to go for our live production. Ready game locator. Bring in game locator. Ready to lose game locator and lose the locator. In a regular production environment, this would be a crew of multiple operators. Once again, with the Bravo Studio platform, I have the ability to perform all these tasks at once. The best thing about Bravo is the ability to be able to do live switching from the touchscreen. Ready three, take. As you see here, I can take a camera on preview and I can switch it onto program. The great thing about Bravo is I have the ability to hot cut. The Bravo operator has a choice of either cutting between cameras or mixing between cameras. As I put my camera into preview, I can mix it right on the program. Take three tight. 
Let's hot cut to two. Take camera two. An operator may choose not to use cuts or dissolves, but may want to use a graphic to go in between camera shots. This allows me to have a different graphic here, and I can pick which graphic I wish to use as cutting between camera shots. This one here, for example, will be a door transition. When it's time to do a replay, the operator will click on the replay tab. Now I have the ability to look at all four different camera angles that are coming in. I have the ability to be able to scroll back on all four different angles at the same time code or forward. So these buttons down here allow me to go fast forward or backwards by pressing and holding. I can jump five seconds or go ahead five seconds, or I can play the video and pause the video where I need to stop it. Once I get to the point that I want to start and show my replay from, I can now select which section of the video window that will display the different speeds. 80% will be from the left side, 50% will be from the middle, and 100% real time will be on the right side. Once I've got my angles selected in the order that I want, I can also change them if I want. Once I add these clips into the rundown, now my angles are ready for air. Stand by to roll replay. Three, two, one, roll replay. There's my first look. As it gets across the line, I'm gonna manually dissolve it right from here. There's my second look. And dissolve to my hero shot. And dissolve. Nice slow motion shot. There it is running at the lower speed. Stand by to come to camera two. And let's end replay to two. When working a live production, the Bravo operator needs to be able to get graphics in and off program very quickly. Using Bravo, it really gives me the ability to be able to get these graphics in and off the screen of live program. The graphic will now take on program, and now I have the ability to lose the graphic by selecting down here in the program side and clearing off the graphic. Stand by to bring in the score bug. Bring in the score bug. Only five minutes. Ready to lose the bug. In three, two, one, lose the score bug. Using the DC Live Edit as part of Bravo, I have the ability to make fixes after the show has been finalized and produced. Live Edit has recorded every camera cut and graphics insertion and has created a digital EDL in the form of a timeline for the editor to fix and make adjustments required. Once the editor picks up the digital EDL on the timeline, you can make camera cut changes replacing any angle that has been recorded. The editor can add dissolves to replace camera cuts. Broadcasts can be cleaned for post-production purposes. The editor can add or remove any graphics that were inserted during the live production. The editor also has the ability to make any audio adjustments needed for the final output. The ability to make final edits with the digital EDL on a working timeline saves the director a drastic amount of time on the back end of a live production when trying to get content out quick for social media, producers, or any type of production purposes. The huge benefit of using Bravo is lowering the cost of your production, but still keeping the ability to do high level broadcast quality television show. Thank you for joining us for our live soccer production using the Bravo Studio platform. If you need any more information, please visit the Everts website at www.everts.com or speak to your local sales representative. I hope this video was informative for you and showed you how you can take Bravo Studio to do a very small production with less staff. We'll have other videos that'll show you how you can take multiple staff and do a larger production with the Bravo Studio platform. Thank you very much.